Hello and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon White 2 Super Ultra Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. I am your host, Grandmaster Shaman. And uh, if you're enjoying the series, if you like things going on so far, uh, make sure to hit that like button down below and show your support. It is always extremely appreciated. So let's just do a uh, quick, quick recap. Um, so I did a little bit of grinding as you saw both Pokemon on level 7. So this is my Dodrio. Um, has the ability Bad Dreams, Super Fang, Bug Bite, Telekinesis, and Air Cutter. Um, and then we've got Juan, the Mole Trace, has the ability Swarm, Super Fast. Uh, it's got Foul Play, Mud Shot, Fusion Flare, and Karate Chop. Neither of them holding any items so far. So both Pokemon level 7 not looking too bad as uh, we move on here to the the next uh, trainers. And hopefully I won't get blown back like I almost did at the beginning of the uh, episode. My Nidoran of course falling victim. Last episode, uh, my starter Pokemon died in the first episode, man. That's that's kind of rough. I'm not going to lie. But, ooh, a Marsh Top. That could be power. Who knows? I mean, that Dragon Dancing Cricketot in the uh, training montage was a little scary. I'm not going to lie. So, we're going to Super th Fang this. Get down to half health. Ooh, Power Whip. Well, I was scared for nothing, obviously. And then Air Cutter. Electric type move. Not very effective. Ooh, ice type. Bug bite? Mm, bug bite? Ah, so it's probably a grass type. That's pretty uh, interesting. Look at that, Angry Bird's level 8. Get out of the way, dude, Angry Bird. Ah! Whoa! Let's calm down there, buddy. That's a that's that's not okay. That is not okay. Um Yeah, a level two Kyogre. Man, if I got Kyogre and Moltres, can you imagine if I didn't get this Dodrio and I got this thing instead? Man, how crazy would that be? Of course Kyogre could have the worst stats known to man. Oh god. Kyogre <sighs> I gotta run all the way back now. Fuck, let me go get this item real fast. It's a red card. God damn. <laughs> and here I was hoping it was something useful. What about this thing? A protein. Alright, let's go heal real fast. Um, if you guys missed the last episode, you missed out on a little bit of stuff, um, I'd highly go back and rec recommend you check it out, because I'm not going to be reviewing uh, everything I did last episode. All I can tell you is that I already lost mine. <laughs> I already, already lost someone. Um, but in this episode, we should be able to go to Fluency Ranch, I think that's what it's called, and grab ourselves a th third new encounter. And hopefully we should have a team of three going up against the gym leader. Um, which would be pretty cool, if I do say so myself. I just hope my level 7 mons are enough. Because, oh, uh, actually, you know what, I can get an encounter right here before even facing my rival. And it's going to be a Lombre. That's level 7. Oh, that's a bit scary. I almost want to go grind. <laughs> A little bit more, even though I just did grinding. I didn't expect. <laughs> I didn't expect uh, these wild Pokemon. Uh, and my encounter's dead. Alright, so we're only going to have two Pokemon going into this. And that scares the shit out of me. Uh, I'm going to save right, right now. Only you can present, prevent lost save data. Um, and so remember to always save your game before important events. Just in case things crash and burn and die. Alright, rival. Get your butt over here. 
All right, I have no idea, to be honest, about what level his Pokemon are or anything. All I know is that that level increase is going to make this Bulldore a pain in the ass. All right, it's level 9. Yeah, I am a little terrified, I'm not going to lie. So, Bug-type moves were, were not very effective against this thing. So, more than likely, it's like a Flying-type, maybe? Nope, obviously that's not the case. So, it's probably a Fighting-type? Well, Super Fang is going to help me out either way. Get that thing down to half. Then, if we use an Ice-type move... Nope. Still not super effective, but we should have we should annihilate this thing with another uh, ice type bug bite, and boom. So I was worried for nothing. Uh, I didn't even take a point of damage against this Boldor, and I gained some good XP. Want to learn Worry Seed? No way. Not even no. Botanist? That's a botanist. My rival is a botanist. You all of a sudden became way less intimidating. I got a potion. Yay, now I have ten of them. Super pumped. Alright, yeah. Yeah, you go you go look for that herd of your and I will be right here. Uh, I'm going to probably go and train Juan now, because my Anchor Bird is now level 10, which is kind of insane. Alright, there's a Pokeball down there. Obviously, items are always super important, which is why I got a red card last time, which is totally always important. Oh my god. It's Yuxi! <laughs> I heard the music first, and I was like, uh-oh. It's a Yuxi. No way. All right. Let's karate chop this thing. And it's super effective. All right. We're just going to karate. Oh, my God. It knows false wipe. That would be really cool for catching Pokemon. But I already got my encounter, and I murdered the ever-living hell out of it. So it used karate chop. That's super dope. It's neutral because I'm a psychic and steel type. That's a bit ridiculous okay so that thing's at 1 HP um yeah we'll just karate chop again because I mean why not super effective Yuxi fainted that should get me some hella XP yeah 206 XP oh it's trying to learn water pulse which is a ghost type move oh that thing only has 20 power let's check this thing out 60 power 100 accuracy yeah get that get that thing out of here water pulse I'll take it a ghost type move on top of that I found a max repel I mean you never know when those can come in handy I could get nearly destroyed by something in max repel you know not bad Alright, so there's no other items over here, I don't think. So, yeah, let's just go up here. You are in a rush there, buddy. Alright, we're going to battle this guy. Janitor out there mopping the grass. <clears throat> this guy's like a legend, man. He's basically a meme. Going out there and mopping the grass. I can just imagine this dude out there with a bucket. Dude, drizzle? I don't have any. Dude, water pulse! It's a ghost type move. Oh no! I can't escape from this so waddle! That's not good. Let's fusion flare this thing to the next dimension. Oh, dude, isn't it super effective? Nice. All right, we're going to karate chop this thing. I'm kind of impressed it lived that. And it's super effective. Super effective against both bug and flying? Man, that thing is weak. Sauce. An Ariados? All right, I'm going to stay in. I need that extra level anyway. All right, I wonder what uh, type this thing is. Bug Bite? I know that's an Ice-type move. 
So that's not going to do very much. Uh, let's water pulse this thing. Uh, it doesn't affect it, so it's a normal type. That's a bit sketchy. Uh, I don't have anything for a normal type, to be honest. My bug type moves are powered up, though. Ah, that's not very effective. So it's part normal, and it's part probably flying, maybe? A normal flying type? Is it Swellow? Just looks like an Ariados. It's actually a Swellow. Alright, well, I have, it's low enough HP to where Karate Chop will knock it out. KO. Uh, that Ariados almost fucked me up. Pretty close. Um, so I'm going to go heal. My team's a little bit weaker than I feel like it should be, but, you know, that's okay. It's so great that this dude's here, here to heal me. That was almost bad. I almost mess that up greatly um but it's a good thing that guy's there to heal me because that could be uh, really rough got a paralyze heal that's pretty dope that's pretty cool thanks uh botanist oh yeah that's not gonna be okay yo what's up dude battle me battle me dude all right it's really interesting playing these games again, especially after Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon just came out. Um, I nuzlocked the game my first time through. Uh, I did it with Sun and Moon as well. Um, it's it's a good game for sure. It's a lot more difficult than it uh, than previous games. I actually lost seven Pokemon playing that game in a nuzlocke. Um, which w was a little rough on me because I mean I don't like losing Pokemon in Nuzlocke. It's a, it's just kind of sad. Of course, obviously I got blown back. I I don't expect myself to not lose Mons in this one because, I mean anything could end up blowing me back, um, technically. And but anyway, so I'm doing some shiny hunting right now. If I if I had a capture card on my 3DS. I would definitely post it on YouTube so that people can, you know, maybe shiny hunt along with me in a sense. And uh, but I'm shiny hunting a Zerka tree right now. I already got a shiny Niki Lego, which is pretty cool. Um, that was my first shiny of of the campaign. But Zerka tree is taking a while, and it's kind of like I'm just taking a break right now, doing some super. Ultra Mega Randomizer Nuzlocks, um, which has been kind of wild, to be honest with you. Um, this Stoutland is giving me a hard time. It's a normal type, but it also resists both flying and bug. Man, this thing is kind of a pain, and it resists grass. Is it, what, a normal steel type? It's a normal steel type. Uh, I'm switching. I'm, I'm dipping out of this thing. This thing is actually kind of wild, not going to lie. Um, yeah, so we're going to air cutter this thing. See what happens. All right. That was a bit scary, but anyway, I'm I'm shiny hunting a Zerka tree right now, and it is being a pain in my ass, like hardcore pain in the ass. I mean, I have encountered that thing. So I played I I played during class, kind of. Okay, no, I played during class, and. I think that the total amount of hours I put into encountering and re-encountering that thing is a staggering like 11 hours, 12 hours yesterday. Um, and if we're averaging about four encounters a minute, so that's about 20, 240 encounters. Um, and then we multiply that by 10, that's 2,400 plus another two hours. So, I mean... 
we're upwards of t almost 3,000 encounters just yesterday. And I had been doing this for about another six hours in the previous two days. And I still haven't encountered a shiny. And it's really bugging me. It's getting to the point after about well, 33, 3,400 encounters where I'm just... And I have the shiny charm. It's not like a natural one. Nihi Lego that I got was natural because I, I hunted that thing before uh, Pokebank was updated. So I didn't have all the Pokemon in the game yet. And I don't know. I, I just I haven't encountered the thing after about 3,500 encounters. Or I haven't encountered a shiny in like 3,500 encounters. And it's really... Ah, oh, man, it's it's just, I'm at the point where I'm starting to go insane, so I decided I was just going to come back here and do this. I, I mean, plus, I, I, I rather enjoy this, even if uh, very few people end up watching this stream. Uh, this is something that I just, I really like to do, and, you know, if I had the choice of doing this for the rest of my life, I would obviously take it, but... I, I don't know I, whether or not I'm technically considered... Oh, dude, a Rocky helmet. Oh, that's going to come in handy. I'm going to put that thing on someone right now. Um, we're going to give this to Juan. Juan, we're going to have this mall trace with a big Rocky helmet on. It's going to be pretty cool. I did randomize TMs and uh, as well. So they're completely randomized... Um, even though, even if I kept them the same, it, it would still technically be randomized because the typing would be randomized, the PowerPoints and everything would be randomized. It would just have the same move name. Holy Jesus. Okay, Roar of Time. That's a bit scary. Um, tell me that's, it's super effective. It did that much and you're going to have to recharge. Man, that see, that's the problem, is now Hyper Beam could be like 20 power, and you've got to recharge after you use it. But um, a, a move like Tackle could have 150 base power with 100 accuracy that you don't have to recharge, and it could just be overpowered. But that's the risk you take. That's the risk you take when you do these ultimate extreme randomizers. I mean, this is this is completely and utterly random. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, do it a little bit safer, uh, you know, where they randomize Pokemon types and evolutions and stuff, but... Alright, what's this TM? Horn Drill! Horn Drill. Um, I don't know... If that's randomized or not, but if it isn't, because one hit KO, wait, no, that, yeah, that's Drill Run, that's the, not the one, yeah, this is Horn Drill, this is a one hit KO move, I don't know if it's actually randomized, because in the description, like, it'll tell you that you have to recharge and stuff, and that'll be the same, so, if this thing, it's, it's not, it's a ground type move, it's Horn Drill. It is a one-hit KO move. Can I, anyone learn this thing? No. <laughs> no, it can't. See, that's the that's the problem. Is that one-hit KO moves are uh, not quite as randomized. I think the the um, accuracy was because it's in it normally thirty percent uh, hit rate, but that's at a forty percent. Um, hit rate. So I'm not really quite too sure about it. Um, but it is a one hit KO move. Oh shit! All right. Well, if we, can, if we beat the game. All right. GG. We ran into QRM. Um, as long as I beat this thing, uh, we're good. GG. Uh, that's, that's, that's all she wrote. Alright, flying type moves are not very effective. That's a bit scary. Um. Not very effective. So, it's probably what? It could be a rock type. Mud shot. No, speed fell though. Scratch. 
Not very effective, and my Rocky Helmet comes in for the kill! Let's go. But, back to the to the move there. Um, so that that's kind of overpowered, I, I, but it, it's still only 40 uh, accuracy. Oh, right, I, I, I won the thing, so I, I actually have to go back now um, and heal before I do this thing with Alder, who's going to come stop me right now. The great thing about having this on the ultimate tech speed is that I can just breeze through this text. Um, you know, most of the time you'll get things like uh, people that read the text. And I'm like, if they're watching this game, they've probably played it before. And I know that there's a lot of funny things that you can do reading the text. But it just, I don't know, it takes so much time that I just don't feel like I should do it. I got in the Platinum one, I didn't do it either. Of course, if you guys want me to read the text, I'll be more than happy to. Just leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know. But until then, I'm not going to do it. It just it seems like a waste of time. Um, but we'll see. Alright, so we're going to face these two trainers who normally have Pokemon that are strong against you, but this thing has a Bell Sprout. Oh man, it's level 10 though. We're starting to get up there. Um, Fusion Flare? Yeah, I'm we'll just boom. That's not very effective. Alright, that's a bit scary. And that's super effective, right? Oh wait, no. Wait. Oh! To the thing again. No, of course it's not super effective because it's not an actual fly, fire type move. Okay, so maybe this thing's a rock type? Maybe? Yeah! Yeah, oh my god, Hydro Cannon. And you have to recharge now. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I think recharging moves are going to be really bad in this game because more than likely they're going to get randomized to being a pretty average move. Oh, thanks for healing. You really didn't have to. <laughs> but it's going to be like a super average like 60-70 base power move that you have to recharge off of. Alright, so I ran into a marsh top earlier. What? It was a grass type, right? So I could use fusion flare and annihilate this thing, if I remember correctly. But it's going to be hard to remember all these Pokemon. Okay, so it wasn't. Um, karate chop. That was also normal effective, and that didn't do anything. All right, so that I like how my Rocky helmet is coming through in the clutch right now. All right, we got this ghost type water pulse. It's also normal effective. E. I don't know. I don't know what this thing is. I'm just going to karate chop it to the next dimension. There you go. Critical hit. We didn't really need one, but we got one anyway. Level 12. Look at that. Um, that's pretty dope. Thanks for healing my Pokemon for no reason. I really... Oh my god. Yeah, we're just going to... Just going to... Real quick, real like, real smooth. Get that out of there. All right, Alder. I really could care less about your shit. Okay. That was a bit much. Um, isn't there a place here that I can get like get a Pokeball or something? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played Pokemon White Two. Not, <laughs> not gonna lie, but. Um, if anyone, if any one of you knows me, you know that fifth gen is my favorite generation by far. Um, I like Emerald because of the nostalgia that was my first Pokemon game, but in terms of an actual generation of games where both, um, like sixth gen would be both X and Y and Oras, um, but in terms of the entire generation, 5th uh, Gen is by far my favorite. I know it's kind of uh, lame. 
I guess. <laughs> Not a lot of people like fifth gen. It's kind of sad to me, but um, it's it's like my favorite thing. I love the storylines. I love Team Plasma. Um, if on my Facebook profile it says that I'm a Team Plasma commander, um, it, it's it's I just really like it a lot. And I don't know why I'm healing because I didn't run into any Pokemon. But we're just gonna heal anyway. You can never be too safe. Um, that's that's what my uh, that's what I'm always told that you can never be too safe. And by that I mean. Yeah, that was completely unnecessary, but I did it anyway. All right, to the gym in the most conspicuous and not weird place in the entire world, at the back of uh, whatever building this is, a library, a trainer school, I don't, I don't know. Whatever building this is, it's in the back of it, and it, I like, honestly, if I saw some dude walking into the back of a like, library, all conspicuous-like, I mean, I'd probably think they were going to go sell drugs, so, but here we are, in the Pokemon Outdoor Gym, which is honestly kind of insane if you think about it, an outdoor gym doesn't have, oh my, okay, so let's just calm down for a second and not throw out Suicune, I don't know if you're OP or not, but that is, like, legends are still scary. Alright, yeah, that did nothing. Um, that did absolutely nothing. And it was normal effective. And, ooh, 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 look at that. And it's stockpiling. And that is not okay. Um, so Karate Chop's super effective, and it's doing that much damage. That is, oh, it's using Karate Chop too. Oh, look at that. Man, we, we are in a chopping battle right now the absolute or, or it can, oh, okay or or you can just not participate like can't you just play oh man it used karate chop and miss look at that i'm just sitting here karate chopping it to the next dimension it's karate chopping me we're karate chopping the cameraman the cameraman's karate chopping the director i don't know man it's just it's it's starting to get wild up in here with all of this karate chopping going on. Um, I didn't know that this gym was actually like a judo tournament. Okay, maybe judo is a bad example. It's a karate tournament. That's 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 kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. But we, we knock out this Suicune, Only take ten points of damage. Juan grows up to level thirteen. Starts starts getting up there. Um, then we got this shit. Chef, Chef, who sends out a Darumaka, and we're just going to fusion flare that thing, alright, that did nothing at all, and it's leaf tornadoing me, that is a bit scary, because that's super effective, um, which means it's probably a fire type move, or something along those lines, alright, so I just blew this thing back, that's pretty cool. And um, I am down exactly 20 HP, so I should be able to potion this thing up beautifully. Exactly 20. Uh, I should probably train my other Pokemon. Uh, again, only you can pre prevent lost save data, so make sure you save your game rather relatively consistently. Um, we're coming up here on about 29 minutes in this episode, so we're going to beat this uh, next gym trainer, and we'll save right in front of the gym leader himself before we end this episode off. Alright, what you got? I liked the karate chopping um, tournament that we had. Oh, that is a Torterra. That is a bit... Jesus, man, Suicune, Torterra, and then there's this Darumaka, I guess, that was kind of, uh, not, not really even that cool. Okay, let's, Confuse Ray, are you being real right now? Ah, oh, my god, it hit too. I don't know how much accuracy it has, because that's randomized, but let's not. 
All right, Super Fang hit, so that's cool. Um, let's air cutter. Is that? That is not. That did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Okay. All right, snap out of God. Ah, oh, Dodrio. Let's let's not play this game, man. Can we not? Can we not? Right now, I am not in the mood to play these kind of games where you just hit yourself in confusion for like three turns. All right, this Torterra is starting to get annoying with its wishing. Bug bite. Maybe I say move. Let's not. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. All right, it's false swiping me right now, which is actually pretty mad decent. If you can just not confuse me, that would be super nice. Can we not? Can we not? No. 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 All right, let's almost murder ourselves. We're not even. <sighs> it's gonna, it's gonna use wish, isn't it? All right, breakthrough, breakthrough. I believe in you. There you go. Boom. Ah! Why? <laughs> oh man. Okay. Please don't do this. Okay. Jesus Christmas. All right, Torterra. Why? At least we gained some mad levels. Pupitar. All right, we're gonna return. We're gonna we're gonna um send out Juan here. Juan's gonna fight this Pupitar. With all of its might and power and strength and fusion flare, which is a flying type move that's not very effective. So, are you maybe a rock type? I know that's what I always go towards. Dang it. It's probably an electric type. TBH. Water pulse. Which is a ghost type move. It's pretty cool. And boom! Let's go, baby! Juan going up to level 14. We're kicking there. I mean, I mean, we're just, we're just, we're, just, we're winning. We're doing, we're doing good. We're doing perfect. Probably. So, I, I'm kind of impressed. Uh, that first episode was a little rough, but here in episode two, we didn't lose anybody. We, we killed our uh, encounter, though. That kind of sucks. And we don't get an encounter. Um, we only get one encounter before the next gym, which is a little bad. Because we only we don't get an encounter um, to the route to the right of... Um, the route we, we got uh, the Dodrio on. So I think the next... The, the only encounter that we actually have is... Um, the the place south of Verbank City. Um, whatever it's called. Where all the Magnemite usually are. I think that's our only encounter. So thank you all for watching this and I uh, hope you liked the episode. Uh, make sure you click that thumbs up button down below. Leave a comment, subscribe, all of that good jazz. And we're going to see you next time on the Super Ultra Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke for episode 3.